go to another very commonly used fruit which is called the nimbu or the lemon. We will see what Ayurveda says regarding this. Nimbukam krimi samuha nashinam tikshnam amlam udaragraha paham vata pitta kapashuline hitam kashta nashta ruchi rochanam param tridosha vannikshaya vata roga nipiditanam vishavihvala nam mandanale badda gude pradeyam vishyuchikayam munayo vadanti. So, Ayurveda says nimbu or the lemon. He has got the ability to destroy krimi samuha nashanam. Uh, it destroys the uh, parasites or the intestinal parasites, which are uh, three or four in number pinworm, tapeworm, roundworm, hookworm. Uh, the different problems because of the worms inside the uh, intestines are. You may have loose motions, you may have digestive abnormalities, you may have fever, you may have urticaria or skin problems, itching problems, itching around the anus. All these things are taken care of just, just by taking the lemon. This is, it can be used in the form of a juice, a little bit of sandav lavanam or rock salt is added, a little bit of uh, fried um, jeera or cumin powder and uh, we call it as ajwain uh, that also has to be little bit fried dry fried and that powder and uh, cumin powder and ajwain powder and rock salt powder are added to the uh, lemon juice and it is given as a drink. This is krimi samuha nashanam. If you are taking any, any medicines along with that also you can take this uh, even without taking any medicines also you can take them. Tikshnam amlam udaragrahapaham, udaragrahapaham, vatapitta kafashuline hitam. If you are suffering from any type of abdominal pain, uh, stomach pain, intestinal pain or any other pain which is related to the abdomen, you can take the juices of uh, prepared out of lemon, which is very commonly used. Kashtanashta ruchi rochanam param. Rochanam param means you, you have very uh, la la lack of taste. You don't have feeling to eat food. You feel it's very uh, your taste buds are not working properly. Then you can take the lemon uh, juice or uh, lemon pickle along with your food. Tridosha vanni kshayavata roga nipiditanam visha vifalanam mandanale badda gude pradeyam vishuchikaya munayo vadanti you are suffering from very severe type of diarrhea like cholera or dysentery also you can take lemon juices then if you are uh, suffering from lack of digestion proper appetite also you can take uh, lemon juice this is regarding the uh, very commonly used lemon then we will go on to the very commonly used fruit which is called the apple so apple uh, is described as amruta phalam in ayurveda amruta phalam lagu vrishyam susvadu trin hareet doshan ayurveda says uh, there are three types of doshas vata pitta kapha dosha but apple has got the capability to uh, alleviate or reduce the aggravation of vata, pitta and kapha dosha. Also it has got easy to digest property vrushyam. Uh, this is what is called in Ayurveda the potency to enhance the reproductive system or strengthen the reproductive system. In Ayurveda we call it as vaji karanam. It is sweet in taste, nutritive, tonic from irrespective of age from 0 to uh, elderly population, everybody can be given apple. Uh, in Ayurveda, if you are having overweight, then better you avoid uh, taking apple. If you are uh, suffering from some sinusitis or bronchitis, you better avoid it. If you are having some diseases like lack of uh, uh, re reduced weight, cachexia, emaciation, or you are suffering from gastric ulcers, um, uh, intestinal ulcers, definitely apples can be used. If you are suffering from oral ulcers also, you can use them. Uh, it is better to eat rather than go into the juice form because you will be able to 
get lot of your fiber from the uh, whole fruit. This is what is about these uh, four commonly used fruits. Then we will go on to uh, tender coconut water which is uh, called uh, uh, tender coconut water Nari Kelam in Ayurveda. We will discuss about that. So, we will look at what uh, Ayurveda says in the sloka form. Narikelo, Dridafalo, Langali, Kuchashir Chakaha, Tunga, Skanda Falas Chaiva, Trinaraja Sada Falaha, Narikela Falam Sheetam, Durjaram, Vastishodanam, Vishtambi, Brimhanam, Balyam, Vatapitta, Stradahanatu. So, when a patient who comes with the uh, fever or loose motions, severe thirst, urinary infection, oral ulcers, gastric ulcers, intestinal ulcers, loss of weight, then we will advise to consume tender coconut water either one or two uh, in a day. You have to ensure that it is not over -riped because the over -riped coconut and the water which comes out of it has got the opposite quality of what has been explained in the classical text which is Sheetam or Vasti Shodhanam. It does the opposite. It heats your body if it is over -ripe. So, you have to ensure that you take very tender coconut water and it is very useful in cases of urinary tract infections. All of you would have uh, observed that you will pass very uh, clean, uh, clear urine after taking one or two tender coconut water within half an hour. That means tender coconut water has got a diuretic property and uh, it uh, helps in production of urine in the kidneys and it is useful when you are suffering from urinary stones which we call as ashmari or uh, if you are suffering from mutra daha mutra krishna which can be diseases related to the urinary bladder and the uh, ayurveda says in case of loose motions if you are dehydrated then you can take tender coconut water if you are suffering from uh, problems like bleeding through the uh, nose or you are suffering from giddiness or you are suffering from excess thirst, then definitely you can take or consume tender coconut water. It has got Sheetha Gunam opposite to Ushna Gunam and uh, uh, Brimhanam, Balyam. Uh, once you take, so you feel very strong. It means it enhances your strength. So, uh, in a way, uh, this is Brahmana. Uh, it helps in uh, replenishing or rejuvenating your dhatus or the tissues. In a way, we have learned through this episode some very commonly used fruits, how they are to be used, when not to be used and what are their basic characteristics. Hope this will help you in understanding regarding fruits as explained in Ayurveda. If you have got any doubts, please uh, comment uh, right on the comment section and we will try to address them in the subsequent episodes. Uh -huh.